Okay, this is an interesting interview and there's a really big reason why I wanted to go over it with it because before I said alcoholics can give up drinking entirely, drug addicts can never take crack again, and then I said, but we have to eat. The thing is, we don't have to eat pizza. If we took a week off from pizza, I wouldn't get a phone call, Ellen, I'm sorry, but you lost several members of the group. <laughs> You're gonna have to put a few more leaves up there, they're gone. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. We can give up chocolate. We will live. Now, when they're saying giving up food, no one says, well, I had to, you know, I gotta give up my broccoli and my fish and, uh, no. No one said, oh, I can't have too much fish, or I can't have broccoli, oh, my Brussels sprouts, I, I eat too many, oh. No one's saying that. They've got the bacon and the pizza and the subs. And what kills me is everyone says, I don't have time to eat healthy. I'm tired. Well, do it when you're not tired. I make a bat of that turkey taco, I mean, that turkey taco soup. I mean, you can freeze it. You can get it out. You can microwave. Who has not, who doesn't have a microwave here? Joanne broke. doesn't. Broke. Joanne's broke. We'll, we'll take up a collection afterwards. Uh, she's lost. She, wait, 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 come back. Wait, well, wait till she comes back. I'll find one at a garage sale for five bucks. You owe me five bucks. Besides a broken one, you freeze stuff. We make huge salads. Here's the key you take paper towels and you lay it all over the top of the salad. Then you put it in the refrigerator. It doesn't get brown and it doesn't. Freeze. The yes, green Marie. bags work very well. The yes. green bags, I got some. If you need one, I'll bring it in. I got extra. <laughs> I think that this whole I don't have time to eat healthy is, guess what? <laughs> and I really believe that because I don't want to go in my life and how I'm busy, and I don't want to say the B word even. If you got kids, they can eat pizza. You won't die if you watch your kids eat pizza and you have a salad, you won't. We can give up some of these foods and, it, and we don't have to be obsessed with it. What we're trying to do is heal ourselves and say, food sustains me. It gives me the energy to do God's worth work. We're, eat, we're, we're acting like food is recreation. Hey, let's have some fun, let's have some food. I said, pick a date with your food. I'm going to a very fun party Saturday night that I have looked forward to for a solid year. I made a date with a few beers. I'm having a date with them Saturday night. Maybe quite a few, but I planned it. I have planned it. I said, you know what, Bob? On January 1, I said, I am going to have a date on that day. Here's the trouble with some people in the group. They go out to eat four or five times a week. They're fine. Let's go out to eat. Let's go out to eat. Let's go out to eat. And they go, I had to. I had to go out. All right. But I hear they have healthy choices in restaurants. They have fish. Every time we go out to eat doesn't mean it's a treat. Like the feast in the old days, you know, back when they, you know, went to a village and they had a big feast. We are going to eat to sustain us. Also, how many people here think they can go a week without pizza? Okay. Now, I'm not counting a certain someone who won't raise her hand because she's already lost 75 pounds, so she can eat as much cheese as she wants. I'm talking about people who, are, who aren't doing it. Food is fuel, it's not entertainment. Let's say that again. Food is fuel, it's not entertainment. When we use it as fun and games for entertainment, that's when we get in trouble. If we think of it like, if we say grilled vegetables and chicken, oh, that's so boring, you gotta mix it up. And it, this talks about women, but I always throw men and women, they're the same way. Family gatherings, birthday, Christmas, anniversaries, funerals, everything centered on food, it is. So either we're gonna be fat the rest of our lives, you know what, Ellen, I give up. Everything's centered on food. Okay, give up. You can either give up, or you can learn to live in this world that's centered on food. Many of us have. We pick our dates. We have our, I could say, well, I'm gonna have snacks and eat, eat snacks every day, or I can say one day in the future, I'm gonna do this. Then I enjoy it. What triggers us to change our habits? 
Dan told us about his trigger moment when he, he thought the guy said, how's he going to do it? My trigger moment, I told you, I went to Chicago to see my daughter. I couldn't even walk. We're going up and down to the L and I thought, I'm going to die. I can't walk. I can't go up and down these streets. It was finally a trigger where I said, I want to be able to get in the car, go to Chicago, run up and down. No one has, people have trouble keeping up with me now. I don't have any trouble going to the L and this and that. But it's a choice I had to make. A pizza or the light bulb moment. Beers every day or the light bulb moment. We need to have the moment ourselves. I can't give you that moment. Weight is a hard and painful burden. And sometimes we embrace it. It's our burden. We own it. We're used to it. If we get rid of our burden, what will our lives be like? That's what we're going to talk about in the next video, right after this one. It's easy to lose weight. The hard part is to keep it off. Keep it off. Now, this woman, I like this. She says, when we bear our souls, when we open our kimonos, that's when you touch other people. I think for the past two years and ten months, my kimono has been pretty open. And the reason I tell you things isn't because it's all about Ellen, but it's because I want you to say, wow, I can relate to that. I'm not a 90-pound person who's never struggled with weight. I'm you. I'm, we're together. We're, we're fighting this battle together. I open my kimono and say, life is tough. This is tough because it ain't going to get any easier. It's not going to get easier. Something else will happen tomorrow. Something else will happen next week. And if our <coughs> knee-jerk reaction is the food, the food, the food, we will never get to a healthy weight. Also, we need to stop the thinking that exercise is torture. I really got a lot out of the yoga thing. I really did. I felt like the breathing and the moving and getting in touch with the Holy Spirit inside me. I live here. This is where I live, and I carry it with me wherever I go. My house, I have siding on the house. Bob mows the lawn. We clean it, dust it, vacuum it. That's what we do to this house. we got to take care of where we live. We need to embrace the fact that if you don't like the treadmill, find something else. You've got to do something. I've said it before, and I'll probably say it a gazillion, million, billion times because we have to do something.